is me, Christina, and today I'm going to talk about sending and receiving messages on the Galaxy Watch Active. So, keep in mind that when you're not wearing the watch, your notifications are not going to show up. Once you, if you have them cleared, your notifications are not going to show up. Unless you're wearing your watch. Let me send a text. And as you can see, I haven't gotten a message on my watch yet. Because I'm not wearing it. So once you put it on will get the notification. So as you can see, I still, I got the notification. So when you receive a message, it'll vibrate. So now, if you have this app called Texture, you can mark red and reply right from here. But we have to click read more. So there it is. She sent me this message. So then you have the voice reply, which you can re record your voice just like on the phone and then you have just emojis and then you have your quick reply which you can customize and you have your um, keyboard so you can write text yourself Or, if you swipe to the right, you can change the keyboard to an emoji keyboard. And you can also change it back to a standard keyboard. Um, just like this. So... I find it much easier just to handwrite it. So now I'm going to go ahead and send this. And there you go. Now it's sent. If you want to write a message on your watch, go to your messenger. And I'm just going to open. And hold on, I have to change my messaging app. So, so now we're gonna go to the messages and we can write a message. And you can also view other messages. Um, if you click the three but the three dots over here, you can call, send my location, show on my phone, and delete the conversations. So that's how you send a message. Let's send one. So there you go, and now the person on the other side can get your message. So what about making phone calls? I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you're receiving a call,
here you go so you can swipe left to decline swipe swipe right to pick up and if you swipe up you can send messages let's say i can't talk now So as you can see on their end, the call ended right away and you got um, and they got the message. So there you go. And now making a call is also just as easy. So go to your apps. And we're gonna go into the phone app. And I'm just going to call mom. So the phone does ring. As you can see, it's right here. That she has a missed call from me. So it does ring. Um. But yeah, I couldn't show you that because my phone is used, used to record this. <laughs> so another thing is getting texts from WhatsApp. It's pretty much the same. So when you get a text from WhatsApp, so here we go, WhatsApp. And it's pretty much the same. You have the same quick replies that you can edit yourself. And you have the voice, what do voice? Hello. So there you go. That's how you send a message with your voice. And let's see. Did she get the message? No, it didn't go through. Hold on. Hello. Okay, sending it. Okay, there it goes. Now it's sent. So, let's see if she got the message. No. So, apparently, voice memos don't work on WhatsApp from your watch. But, this works. So... Okay. Um. Yeah. Doesn't work. As you can see, I haven't gotten any new messages. For some reason, WhatsApp is not supporting it right now. But that's pretty much the basics. Um, if you want to, you can go to your contacts and do the same thing. Let me go ahead and get my mom. So, we're almost there. So then you can just message and call. I'm going to click the message button and it's that simple. Just be careful because it does show their phone numbers on the screen. So there you go. That's a basic 
um, walkthrough of sending and receiving messages. Um, I'll make another video when WhatsApp finally starts working again. I'm not sure why it's not working. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching my, this uh, video. And tomorrow I'll be posting a complete walkthrough of this watch. You can watch, you know, everything that this thing does. So... Um, I'll see you in my next video, and I'll also be posting, um, the Gear S2 versus this. Stay tuned!